um, you know, cover this for a moment again. I'm not sure how much you're familiar with uh, Ramadan from a uh, well, from I'm, a I'm, I'm ignorant to it. Okay, so just recently Ramadan started. Let me see when uh, when it started. Um, so this is a, a holy period yeah, for yeah, Muslims. Yeah, no, that much. Okay, so March 10th. So March 10th to April 9th. Oh, it's a month. So yeah, and I think you're actually supposed to like fast during yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah, I know the fasting yeah, part yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting because I have like observed some of that through like really Twitter. Um, because at the beginning of Ramadan, you'll get a lot of people getting on there and just like sharing something about right. you know why they're Muslim or you know just some, it's really actually beautiful. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so that began and. Uh, there was discussion about the cease, well, the ongoing discussion about ceasefire for whether it be a period of time between Israel and Palestine, um, and, or if it would be something that would happen indefinite. But there's been a lot of discussion as far as like, hey guys, let's give it a break for a week. Um, so <laughs> this seems like obviously a great time. Uh, and this discussion came back up. I was curious, really from a bigger, uh, like more general standpoint, how do you feel about that as far as like in open war, the obligation to like in this case like you'd be respecting somebody's religion um i me personally i love it it yeah. it, it it hints to that chance that hope of a one day utopia that we could all live in peace and let people you know be who they want and have their land and have you know their well, religion peace, though. you know it's, just, it's, it's not like, peace but it is peace it, it's, well, it's 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 an agreement it's an understanding agreement. of hey we yeah, won't we won't yeah. do this to be respectful and again for a little bit it's not the the fact that you know the 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 Muslim team was the one that was like, "Hey, listen, we'll take a break from murdering y'all." It was the actual the 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 Jewish team again. Sorry, red flag. Yeah. Sorry, but that is no pulling the. Hey, listen, we'll respect you enough to not kill you for a week, which is wild yeah. to say. But yeah, it's the truth. So again, I like it. Um, it, but it also shows that hey, if you can do it for a week, why not just fucking stop? No, just, just stop. Just stop. So just, just don't resume. Just to, uh, keep it off. Uh, just to add some more context to the conversation, um, these are some of the rules just off a quick Google search here. Uh, during Ramadan, Muslims fast from dawn until sunset. Damn, so you know exactly mm. when they're eating. Um, not eating or drinking yeah. during daylight hours. Strategic the, over it is a strategic advantage. Um, the fasting helps them grow spiritually and empathize with those who are less fortunate. Uh, Muslims break their fast each evening with a meal called iftar. Um, Often starting with dates and water. What's a date? Is that like? It's like a vegetable. Um, Interesting. So is this yeah. like? Do, do they? So do they eat not eat meat during this time? Well, well, Muslims. They, what's the? No, they, they eat during pork, the night. Right? They eat during nighttime, and they never eat pork. Yeah, they never eat pork. Yeah. So I mean, that's interesting. I think that. Uh, I think that sure. From your perspective, it does. It would be nice, you know. I could say that it would be nice that uh, we could take the, have this level of like respect for one another's culture, religions, and so on and so forth. Um, but I think the reality here is that they're in war. You know what I mean? So it's like to to expect the level of empathy from people that are in open war with you, um, and you haven't had significant talks of peace. But there's to always, expect any sympathy. I think is kind of. But hasn't wild. there always been some some line of respect? Like hasn't there always been a hey, there also been some line of absolute yeah, of course, disrespect of the course. most disrespect you can imagine but, but 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 even down I think to, there's more disrespect than respect <laughs> well, yeah, it's, there. it's war yeah all is fair yeah, right? yeah, yeah. but Fuck, uh, yeah thank you man for but me. uh but but hasn't there always been like the take, like we'll take a break and bury our dead and then, and then we'll come back to this more tomorrow so i think there's, there's like so there's always kind of been like there's a, been that idea throughout history or is it just Hollywood? Well, no, I think, I think <laughs> I've never been in, in a war in 14, 18. So I think I for sure, know. I think for sure to a certain extent, there's been, you know, certain like you like you said earlier, agreements. But I think to expect somebody that's in an open war with you to take a month off is just wild. That's not gonna happen. And uh <laughs> they obviously don't take they, off a month. They man. don't care enough about you not to kill your citizens. So yeah, I mean, they, it's like, yeah, yeah, you been. guys are like it's a it's a bloody bloody war. Huh. It, it to think of like geographically and uh, like population wise, how many people are there and technically how many people are involved in this war and how bloody it's been is actually pretty incredible. Like because it gets compared to wars that are like wars involving countries like the United States, which is you know many 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 times Israel's size. Um, like Israel's like fucking New Jersey. Like so. Um, just yeah it's 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 interesting to me i think that it is 
like from a like I don't know kind of psychological <laughs> philosophical kind of standpoint with think- the people involved it's interesting to consider this this is a nice thing I'm glad that we were even discussing it to your point I think that maybe does speak to yeah. some level of like you know uh civility from the like on the world stage you know yeah. what I mean where we're wanting to have that kind of conversation I just don't know how much Israel's interested right in well when, when since, since um, we're here we, we can take an American turn here and just say is this a uh the, when's our election October like seventh or so is this a political move if for, for him to show, so that hey I do I, I do have some mercy and I do I, and I'm not in this just to be bloodthirsty are you saying and, Israel yeah yeah pre, uh, I don't even think that they're because like the thing is during times of war I don't think you have uh elections like that like yeah. it has to be declared like for example uh Ukraine was trying to do this a while back right uh and suspend their election and that was part of like the conspiracy with Donald Trump was that he was possibly going to declare martial law I think yeah. and this then would postpone any elections which I mean uh, to a certain extent makes it makes some sense um but i mean you have to have it just has to be a really high bar as to why we're not going to continue right, right, right. running our government which obviously they don't have a high bar for that that shit shuts down every couple of years but um uh yeah i think from a civilian standpoint it makes sense as to why you wouldn't want too much switching up in your government especially at the highest level um while you're in active war so um i can imagine that they're not there may not be um an election i think if anything this kind of to, to your point, um, some of what I have heard is that some people that are skeptical of the whole scenario, um, that this does benefit like the BB Netanyahu, who's the current government, especially the right wing government, which right. is BB Netanyahu and his people over there. Netanyahu. Uh, no. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> uh, not no. So he's um, uh, he benefits from this because now there is more of like a nationalist kind of right feeling mm-hmm. with the civilian population because they're scared so there's a there was a attack where people crossed their borders yeah that's that's different i mean they already get a uh, missile shot at them Buddy. um <laughs> but it's like i understand why it's and also this is successful this was successful so people crossed the border and then actually did kill people did rape and kidnap um, oh yeah civilians so and then um, and then like you know tenfold 20 fold 30 fold over sure yeah. i mean definitely of definitely killing it's, definitely yeah. killing so it's kind of like, like like yeah like like to be and again th- this is me being knowing me as the empathetic you know somewhat pathetic in that re- regard soul i am i i i'm, I'm tired of 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 the cry fest from from bb and them on it like yes it happened but then like look at what you have done and it's like all right like enough is enough like it's yeah. enough hanging on that that moment and they say oh well you know we have to continue. So it's like, yeah, like again, I pro both sides, well, you know, just you have to you, the reason peace, they're love. saying the reason they're saying they have to continue is because they have to prevent something like that from ever happening. So you have to but you you're have not to, you have to create such a deterrent. Well, but but but, but mean, you're not because because all you're doing is just going to create more and more extremists in the region that, that you, you're the that but, you're the minority. But if you pull out, that's not evidence that you did either. You know what I mean? Like, so I understand the the concept because I've heard this argument of like, oh, like doing this, you're going to create more people that are radical. And I think that is true. And I agree with that. Um, but then on top of that, if you do what has already been done and then you don't continue, I mean, there's still well, going to be yeah, okay, people so, so, that are made radical by tens of thousands of yeah. civilians. Now, I guess to go against what I usually say about like black and white, you know, yeah. and face value, then then where do you again, where do you stop? So are you going to eliminate Hamas? Okay. I, I I don't I don't know if you are again like 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 when you have shit like that like like there is no way to kind of eliminate that extremism especially when you are murdering people's parents you know yeah. and loved ones so it like again that's the the dirtiness of it all so then yeah. if that's your mission then I guess you have to go with your whole eradic not yours but their yeah. eradicate thing and just wa- might as well wipe them all out right like 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 where where do you draw the line to say enough is enough? Well, I mean you could theoretically feel at a certain point that they're not a threat so if there's thirty thousand, which was uh, i think at the beginning that was the number that was reported that 30 there's thirty thousand hamas members in uh uh uh, gaza so uh, i'm not saying that you could kill literally thirty thousand people but if you (laughs) knock that thirty thousand to uh five thousand and then also destroy all the infrastructure there which i think this also does a ton of i'm not in support of this and i do think that 
regardless, something else pops up. It's just like, did we just like Donald Trump takes credit for destroying ISIS. So did you destroy yeah. ISIS or did ISIS just create a new name? Just like it's like Al Qaeda or something else or yeah, not create a new name, but you know what I mean? Something else takes t- mm-hmm. takes control of the power in that power vacuum that, that's created. So, um, so yeah, I like I got them insurgents. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. That's part of the, the weirdness of this war because like it's so public this organized assault on this country. So Israel, right. October 7th. It was organized. So, yeah. so yeah, and, and like from the government, because Hamas is the government. So a lot of times that gets conflated where it's like, oh, terrorist group. Two things are true. It's a terrorist group, but it's also literally the people that represent that area of land yeah um so so from that standpoint i think even though even then because i'm kind of like you i'm like hey man no war no war no war so even then where i'm like we need to find some kind i i understand and it's almost like if you're speaking to somebody who is israeli how can i from an american standpoint tell them that they shouldn't respond so i mean obviously i think there should be oh it's so especially yeah. yeah because i mean <laughs> well your safety's on the line yeah. so i was like for me i'm calling call, such, call entitled, kettle black, you know? such an entitled stam- stance where it's like okay well if mexico just did that okay, yeah, us, that's what i was going to bring up we, yeah do, would we accept i mean we well, didn't accept- well, well how, how far would you go if, if if the cartel did did cross border and do something like that like like how how far again do we yeah. do how are you going to eradicate that when it's when it's neighborhoods and kids and all that and, and like like I don't, I don't know. Are you yeah. gonna? Not, I'm not in that position. I'm glad I'm not in the position. Yeah. But it's like there has to be a way that's not just murder them all. Well, I think it's. <laughs> I, I, I think one of it is like sadly because I think this will have long term implications on the people that live in Gaza. And now this is another thing we're hearing during Ramadan. Oh, I don't want to make a joke. But I just <laughs> it, dude, 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 it's been tough to laugh through this, but Ramadan, we have to, right? Yeah, but during Ramadan, there's Fucking actually Americans. there's there's word of them like possibly they're going to experience a famine. So starvation. Fuck. Um, well, but, but yeah, because yeah, bro. Yeah. When, when when you see the videos come out of like the children, it's devastating. It's it is oh, like dude. it is on Twitter. Bro, some of the shit I seen on Twitter was it's disgusting. Un- was it's disturbing. Uh, I, I I wouldn't be able to have my kid go through it. Like 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 bro, are, are, you, kids are you serious? Yeah. Like 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 how how like, radicalized it, are you going to become? Yeah. It makes no sense. And I mean, you'd have to obviously like from a parent standpoint something like that happens happening to a child makes no sense so i can't imagine how a parent deals with that going forward yeah. so no. i mean you know and yeah then, I, then, I, then, i'm in agreement with you i do think think, it, think about how how irate we get over shit sorry how, yeah, how, how irate we get with shit over here right and 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 how split we are with with politics right and 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 that's policy that's not murder right like 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 all this is policy and just beliefs Right. And we and we get torn apart. Mm-hmm. So imagine now you're in that region and you're watching this country seemingly target people who believe what you believe in. Right. Mm-hmm. Who are like you and then see their children who who resemble your children. Yeah. And then that could happen to you. And so it 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 I think that well, what think it's causing is I think is, it's happening to civilians, to, uh, not civilians, but innocents. Because I mean, civilians is one thing, but like people. So the people, yeah. you're, the example you're using, I think those people are actually directly experiencing it and being impacted. That's what's well, so I, disgusting. It, it's not like real quick because it's not like us seeing horrible things happen to soldiers in Afghanistan, which was terrible. Right. And it's like obviously we could imagine like there were a lot of the. I don't want to say propaganda, but like things that would be pushed to us as Americans was that these are American kids. They're getting sent home to their like because it's supposed to re- right. relate to us because yeah. of that. They're getting sent home to their mothers and fathers and they right. sacrifice three doors down. Had a music video about it. Three right. doors down. Shout out to them. Third eye blind. <laughs> shout out to them as well. But <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I think that in this case, because it's on home soil and that's something that's kind of it's not. I mean, it is hard for us to understand really intimately, but, um, you know, I think that we can kind of like intellectually understand it. Yeah. This is a war that is happening right like there in Tampa. Right. You know and, and, like, and, and, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. So if you're in Afghanistan, right. And, or, and, or, well, here, hold on. And also the Tropicana field is being bombed. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So, and right. that's what I mean by infrastructure. Right. I think you can disable Hamas and make them not as much of a threat because you could destroy infrastructure. But the point I wanted to say was, that's going to have long term effects. Long term hospitals are destroyed. Dude, the hospitals are crazy. Crazy. Well, crazy. No, no, yeah. no, again, no, no. Crazy. Was Hamas using that as 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 barracks and, and all that?